Hi, Garden Rebels. Hey, you want to know a big myth about gardening? At least I think is a big myth, is that you can plant in the springtime and then just have this dream garden in the summer without doing any touch-up. And I'm here to tell you, hey, whoa, whoa, hold back. A little touch-up sometimes goes a long ways to make your garden really, really pop. Let me show you particularly in this coleus hanging basket. Now, coleus, by the way, great. It's a great option just to do coleus hanging baskets. They're a lot of fun. A little more muted. Um, not so... Um, not so diva-like as a hanging basket. And, uh, and, and so you can appreciate a lot of the textures in it. So it's kind of a mellow basket is what I want to say. But what happens on coleus, and this is sun tolerant because it can actually handle lots and lots of sun, is that they tend to just grow up and up and up. And I'm here to show you how to keep your coleus and other plants a little bit smaller. Take, for instance, this guy right here. You know how he's up? yelling, I mean, up, waving high. What we want to do is pluck him back just a little bit. And I'm going to pluck him back and prune him back. Let me show you another one here. Can you get, see that? See how the blooms are? Sometimes people, some folks love, love the coleus blooms. I'm not a big one on coleus blooms, so I will trim that back. Now, some folks ask, how far do you trim back? And what you really want to do, let me grab you another plant. I'm going to show you. Okay, so let me show you a close-up on whether, on how to decide where to prune, say, on a coleus. Now, take a look. Now, I'm going to show you a real close-up. Here's the plant from afar, okay? So you can see that it's pretty tall and pretty gangly. And if you want to keep your coleus smaller, where do we prune this? So, really depends on you. Take a look at these branches right here. You see these? So we have a node right here some, some, with some um, branching going on. And we have this long internode right here and a long, another long stretch here. And you can choose anywhere in between these and pluck it. So if this, is the, if this has a really long stretch, pluck it right here. Now I'm going to let me take out a pair of pruners so I can be a little more exact. Take a pair of pruners, and I'm going to cut it right there. And another leaf there that will take off and grow out. So instead of one branch growing, I'll have two branches. So it'll be, uh, so it'll be a little more full. And I can do that all the way throughout the plant. And get something like that going. And so now I have something trimmed. Now, let me show you a different way of doing it, too. Because if you're just to go and shear, take a pair of sh uh, a shears across, this is what you're left with. You're left with this big, ugly stalk here. And so if you're a little more detailed, you might want to just pluck off these stalks so you don't have those looking at it. And you don't have a really looks like a, a freshly pruned coleus, so it looks a little more natural. So anyway, guys, hope that helps. That's the show for the day. Always live your passion.